Hello and welcome. This game is missed. But you probably already know that. I just want to go ahead and jump right in here and I'll explain as I go along if you don't know what it's about. So this is sort of a first person point and click puzzle adventure type game. It was recently re-released on Steam, upgraded graphics and the like, but I'm going to go with classic mode. Yada yada yada, flashlight, that's new, didn't have that before. Anyway, I have played this game before, but it's been a while, so... It's just going to be me remembering how to do everything. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. up there I guess I have to go the long way so one of the things we want to do is flip on all the switches here I think there's one up here yeah that'll be important for later and then yada, yada, yada. enter the number of marker switches how many was it I don't recall one there. There's one over here. Each, this is sort of a, I don't know, I guess you would call it a nexus type island that leads to all sorts of different other islands. And the whole premise is that this guy learned how to create worlds by writing them in a book, basically. It's kind of weird, but So we have the clock, two, three, four, five, over the rocket ship, six, seven, eight, eight, I think. Yeah. I have to go around. Eight or nine. We'll go with eight first. Let's see, dude left us a message. Zero eight. Shouldn't have to use the vault at the right time. If you forgot the access key, you remember the tower limitation. Don't worry, Captain. We'll get what we want. I'll see you shortly. Oh, and erase this message after you view it, just to be safe. Okay, sounds kind of weird. Let me fix that. Uh, uh. Can't adjust the music and audio individually. Flashlight turn on. Well, I guess we'll go with that. We'll get some super loud music and sort of loud sound effects. So, one of the first things we want to do is come in here. And two paintings on the wall. This one looks... Oh. 
probably read our books here. Alright, he wants us to bring him red pages. He wants all of the red pages. And there's another one here. Monsieur. Big surprise there, he wants blue pages. So what was this all about? Oh look. Tower rotation. Turn the tower to face that. Pretty straightforward. And if we go back here, there's a key. I like keys. Keys are good. 240221. Hmm. That was for the clock, obviously. We saw. Oops. Four. Turn. Thank you. Into the elevator. Let's go back down. So we're gonna change clock time to 2:40, and 2:21 is relevant to what's inside the clock tower. We'll see that when we get there. Our first real puzzle, as it were. Uh, have to change this back. Thank you. Open the door, let me out. Let me out. Thank you. Here's our clock. Change the time to 2.40. 30, 35, 40, 1, 2. Raise the path. Flip this on since we're here. We're going to want those all turned on anyway. Alright, two, two, one. This is... Ugh. Not right. Alright, that took longer than I care to admit. But, that little gear in front just opened, and that relates to the big gear that we have out here. So let's go there and see what's waiting. The big gear is open. What's inside? A book. Where does it go? 
this place. Yes. New world. Let me out. Ah, yes. Okay, so we'll need to find symbols if I remember correctly, and this gets to be a pain in the ass. Lots of neat stuff to look at in here. Nothing there just yet. Some stuff you can click on. Does stuff. A music box. Okay, we'll come back to that. That was off to the right in a sec. I want to check this room real quick. Because I remember there being something in here. This. That doesn't look very pleasant. Okay. Oh, there it is. Blue page. Picked up a blue page. Now we want to go here. But for that, we have another puzzle coming up. There's a red page, but we can only hold one page at a time, so we're going to have to come back for the other page. And I'm pretty sure it's like that in every world, so you're going to have to visit every world twice. First time to solve the relevant puzzle, and the second time just to come back and get the second page. Uh, yes, that's right. Fortress rotation. Well, this gets to be a bright pain. So we're going to have to rotate the fortress, yes, how wonderful is that. That was just to rotate this first, everything, so we can open that door. Success. Let's go up. What's up? Up is always good. Right? Usually? More often than not? Ah, yes, that's right. Elevator goes back down, reveals these, which are very similar to what we just saw in the Fortress Rotation Simulator. So we rotate the fortress. Hopefully we did it right. We'll see. Uh, not this way, right? I want to go out. Let me out. Yes, here we go. We're at a different area-ish. So these relate to those symbols there, so we've got three triangles, a circle, and a half circle. So we'll have to remember that. Or write it down. I might have to write stuff down. Because I'm bad at remembering. Back into the elevator. Back up the elevator.
out. Elevator, go back down quickly. button button pressed elevator back up back down elevator see where we ended up this time uh, I think yeah this is basically just opposite the exit anyway so it doesn't matter which way we go it's just as long to get out these should be the first two symbols they are open circle. Okay. I hope I can remember that. Uh, I think I can remember that. I'd write it down, but I don't have a pen and paper at hand. I sh probably should have done that. Should have known. I've played this game before. It's okay. I think I remembered it. Turn. Do this again. Elevator goes down, yada yada yada. Take a drink while we wait. Looks about right. just doing that based on the timing of the model we saw earlier. Please, right. There's some pretty complex puzzles in this game. Although I will say it's easier than Riven, which is the second game. I had a difficult time with that one. A lot of obscure puzzles in there. Oh, this one doesn't go anywhere. Whoops. The next one is back at the start. Up. Later goes down. And we're back. Hopefully that was right. Should be right. Mostly right. Hopefully close enough will do it. Pow! Now let's see if I remembered. Ooh, this is the tough part. Yes, yes, yes! There's our exit. So that's basically what this game is. I'm gonna do that on several more islands. We come back to the Island of Mist. We have this page with us. We're gonna put our page on the book. Which page do we have? We have the blue page. Put it in the blue book. You returned. You wouldn't pretend. Hey, just rescue me. <laughs> I'm acting off. My brother, I beg you. To be complete. Always blue pages. Listen to him. Not listen to my brother. An egotistical fool and a liar. Bring me the blue pages. The red ones. Don't bring the red ones. I've been wrong. 
wrongfully imprisoned. You must be free. I will have my retribution. Please bring me the blue pages. Pages, pages. please. please. Okay, that guy isn't well. We'll say that. So if you're not following what's happening, basically these two guys are trapped in the books because of dude from the beginning. He was imprisoned them in there. For whatever reason. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna grab the red page. See what the red page dude has to say. Sirius, I believe his name is. Sirius and Akinar are their names. Let me out. So let's go get our red page and see what Sirius has to say. Is it this way? I think it was this way. Oop. All the way into the room. Grab our red page. Leave this area. Please leave. Leave. So we don't have to do any of the puzzles again because we've already done it. So it's just a matter of grab the page, go back to mist. Put page in red book. Let's see what Sirius has to say. If you want to take a guess at what he's going to say, you're probably going to be right. Alright, so they've both been wrongfully imprisoned. I'm sure that's what they all say. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. Next time, I think we're going to do the ship. We'll go to Ship Island, or whatever it's called. I don't even remember the names of these things. But, yeah, we'll see where the story goes. Thanks for watching.